Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to actually organize your nail polish stuff. Now, I have a ton of it and I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a minute. But I was thinking when I was going through the stuff, it would be a great video for you guys. And since I have never done a organizing video on here... Um, I thought it would be perfect time to do it, and since it is the new year, you guys, perfect to do it as your resolution. If you guys do not have organization in your life and you want that in your life, that is the perfect New Year's resolution. So I'm going to show you guys how to organize a small drawer like this, and as you guys can see, it kind of got out of hand because I have just been so lazy and tired lately and I'm just like throwing things in here and everything and I'm just so sick of looking at it so I thought it would be the perfect time to show you guys my tips and tricks on keeping this um, small drawer bin whatever you want to call this thing in my shelf uh, organized because there is a ton of stuff and it's just small space so I wanted to show you guys how to organize it and this would be the perfect time to do it since like I said before it is the new year so let's get started and I'll show you guys some of my tips and tricks how to organize a small little bin or drawer whatever you want to call this so yeah let's jump right into the video and I'll show you guys how to do this okay so what you're gonna want to do first and my tip is first thing is when you're trying to organize something you want to take everything out and make sure you know that you'll have other things in there and since you know this is just my nail stuff supplies and everything. Um, I just have nail stuff in here, but I have <laughs> thrown everything in here, so I kind of do need to organize it. So the first thing what you're gonna want to do is just take everything out and put it on the table or desk or the floor, whatever you're doing. Since my uh, shelf is like right by my bed, um, I, and this is on the floor, so I'm just gonna put everything out on the floor. So you just want to make sure that you have everything spread out and everything, so you know what you're doing what you are putting away and what you're organizing so I'm just gonna take everything out of here Okay, so now that you can see that I have everything spread out and I do have a lot of stuff in one drawer, but since, you know, like I said before, it normally is organized. It's just lately I've been throwing everything in. So um, I can fit all this in one small little space. So now that you have everything out on the floor or table, desk, whatever you're doing, it's so much easier because you can see visually what you have and everything and what you can uh, put in or if you have a different place you want to put it. So what you're going to want to do is have an idea in mind what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is quickly just grab a rubber band so I can tie some things up so it's not taking so much space because I am putting in this little box and putting all the stuff back in here and everything. So um, this would be the perfect time to go through what you have um, if you want to get rid of stuff or not or uh, what you want to uh, put in somewhere else if you have another place you would like to put it. But since, like I said before, this is just all my nail stuff, um, I'm just gonna keep it all in here. And this all depends on what you're organizing. It doesn't have to be a nail drawer or bin, whatever. It can be anything that you have in the small uh, spot or anything. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly grab a rubber band so I can put some of this stuff um, together so then it can be more space in the bin. Okay, so now that I've got these little elastic things or rubber bands, whatever you want to call them, to make those rubber band bracelets, these are perfect for like little things if you have to tie things up, like pens or whatever you need to. So I'm just going to be using these um, for some of my organization. Now, it's a good idea if you have like, for instance, like nail art pens um, or pens, whatever, and you, you know, you don't want them all over, but you still want to be able to see them, you can just take a rubber band and kind of just tie that up. So I'm just going to take my rubber band and do that. Now, it all depends on, like I said before, what you're organizing and everything. So I'm just going to put these together and I can still see them, but they're all in one spot. So then I don't have to have them all spread out in the drawer like I did before since I got more of these pens for Christmas and everything. And if you guys haven't seen my Christmas haul, I will link that down below in the description bar. So don't forget to check that out at the end of this video. So what I'm also going to do is take another rubber band and just tie my nail filers and everything up and everything since I have like a ton of them. So I'm just going to take another rubber band and I'm just going to do it by the size of it. And I also got these for Christmas too. So I have a, like a ton of them. Oh, 
know where my rubber band go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these together. And now that these are together as well, which is great because they're not all spread out and I have them in just one spot, which is great because then I don't have to worry about losing one of them. So I'm also going to um, start putting this stuff in this little box since I normally keep my nail art stuff in here. So I'm just gonna put the buffing thing, the uh, pens, the nail filers, maybe on top like that so it doesn't fall. And then I have these brushes I also got from Bundle Monster for Christmas. And I will leave a link below where you can get these. But these are all the brushes that they give you. And I also showed this in my Christmas haul. And I'm just making sure that I have all the pen, uh, not pens, I have all the paint brushes in here. And I do. And it also gave me some dotting tools as well. And I will do a video on uh, these uh, brushes and everything in a future video. So I'm just going to uh, roll this up. And since I know that I have everything in here and I actually haven't used it yet, I'm just going to just close that up and put that to the side. And, you know, like I said before, this all depends on what you're organizing. So it doesn't have to base on what I'm doing, but you can use some of my methods and everything. So, like, I have some of these little plates, stamping plates, whatever you would like to call these things. So, I'm just also going to be using a rubber band to just keep them together if they will stay on the rubber band. <laughs> oh, these won't stay. Okay. So, now I got them on. So, I'm just going to put that aside. So, now I'm going to put... Uh, these little things to help you do your nails better or whatever you want to call these things so I'm just going to lay them on here and I'm probably also going to tie a rubber band against these two so they don't come apart and I can know where they are since there are two of these so it's a good idea to keep everything like if you have little things like this to keep them all in one uh, spot so that's why I am tying a lot of things up now I didn't do this before but I like this method because it just keeps everything nice and tidy and everything now since these are my uh, dotting tools I'm also gonna take them out of the package and they're also paintbrushes I got these at five below I think and I'm just gonna tie them up as well because I don't really want to keep uh, like these the plastic things because I feel like that just takes up so much space So if I just have everything out I can see it and I know what it is and everything So I'm just also going to tie them up as well with the rubber bands And I really like these elastic things because they really do come in handy instead of just using big rubber bands and everything so I have this uh, Little things and I'm also going to put that in the drawer instead of in here so I'm just going to put this in here and I'm just kind of trying to make everything nice and uh, to nice and fit in there and everything and I'll probably tie that as well since they are both two things, the same things or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to tie it on the band and I'm just going to tie these together. Keep them secure in here. So now that they are together, and I know they won't come apart now, which is a good thing, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So I have a bunch of little things in here. Like there's, I don't know what's in here actually. I have a ton of things like nail filers, scissors, little nail scissors, whatever you want to call them. This little thingy, and I'm just probably going to keep that in here, but I won't put it in the box. So I'm going to put that aside as well. To go in my drawer lately and that just you know a little traveling uh, manicure thing so I'll put that aside so I can put that in the drawer instead of in this little box with the brushes and stuff now this is a no mess thing and I'll probably take it out of the box and just put it in here because you know like I said I really don't want it to uh, take up any space so I'll just throw the box away later on so I have these little things because I got a perfect uh, electric thing, petty thing, uh, perfect pedicure thing, whatever, care system electric filer thing. And I actually show that in my Christmas haul, um, but I'm just going to keep that aside. But since these are the little attachments, I'm going to put it in here since I don't want to lose them or anything. And I just have this little electric filer thing in a little bag. And that was from a previous 
uh, care nail care system thing that didn't work, which sucked, but whatever. So um, I have my cuticle pusher, so I'm just gonna put that in there with the other stuff, and then I have the buffing thing, whatever you wanna call it. So I'll put that in there, and then I have the uh, this I don't know what you call this stuff, but I'll put that in there as well. So I'm just trying to line up everything straight and everything, but trying to make it look neat. And as you can see, I'm fitting everything in here actually that's really small. So I'm going to be putting this in here, if I can fit it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to slide that under there and put the little stamping things in here. Or I can put it on top of here. Yeah, I can do that. So then that's right there, but I can still see it visually, which is good. And I already know what it is. This is my nail stuff. So now I'm going to put my nail clipper in there. I'm going to put the little uh, nail glue thingy that I use with my fake nails whenever I have them. And then I have a little stamper for the little stamping plates and the scraper. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And as you can see, I'm actually trying to line up everything so there is extra space. So if I have any extra stuff, and you wanna make sure whenever you're doing that is that it's nice and organized. And as you can see, it's kinda, you know, a small box, but it's a lot of stuff. But if you compromise and everything, and if you try to uh, make it all together if you have little stuff like this then you can have more room in a small box like this so you can keep everything organized so I'm just gonna finish putting some of the stuff that's on my floor and since I have a ton of other stickers and stuff like the jamboree nails the uh, these stickers the gel enamel and everything I'm just gonna be um, putting that in the drawer. So now that I don't have any other little thing that I want to put in the box, I'm going to put that in the drawer. So yeah. So I'm just going to carefully put this in the drawer. Hoping I don't spill it. And I just did, but I can fix that easily. Okay. So I have this nail dryer so I'm just gonna put that in between here and since you know this is kind of a big bin I can put a lot of stuff in here and I'm just leaning this up against here and this is just my uh, q-tips and everything and then I have my gel enamel stuff um, and I actually have a video on that if you guys haven't seen it I will also link that down below in the description bar so if you guys want to learn about that I love it it's so great so now I have these jamborees and everything and um, I'm just going to be putting them together. I'll probably tie a rubber band as well because they're stickers and everything. And I'm just going to grab a rubber band. And find one. And just keep them together. Huh. Oh man, stupid elastic. Okay, so I'm just going to put them together. And I also have a video on this as well. If you guys want to check that out at the end of this video, I will have it um, linked below. So don't forget to check that out at the end of this video. If you guys want to learn about these, I love these as well. They're so great and they are very helpful. And it's easier to do instead of going and spending a lot of money at the salon. So don't forget to check that video at the end of this video if you guys want to learn about it. Okay, so now that I have that together, since, you know, I had a few of them, um, I am going to put that in here in the drawer. Now, I don't know if this is going to fit. I think it's going to fit. I don't know. Oh, is it going to fit? Okay, it's going to fit, but I have to move something. Okay, so this is where compromising things come in hand. I'm just, okay, so I'm just going to stack that on top of there. I just have to be careful when I open and close the drawer. So I have these nail stickers as well. I got them for Christmas from a friend. So I'm just going to lay it, since it's kind of flat, in between there, along with this. And since this is kind of like a small little Sally Hansen nail stickers that I also got for Christmas as well, I'm just going to put that in between here. Or, oh, no, I'm going to put it right there since it's kind of small and everything. And I'm going to put 
this in here, the little nail file or thing, since it's kind of round. And then, um, since I have some extra room, I can hopefully put that in there. Like, I know I can. So, I am just going to kind of lean it up against somewhere, like right here. And that's okay if I can't see it, because I already know what it is, since it's my nail stuff. And I'm just going to put the Jamboree nail stickers behind the other nail stickers. And then I have this as well, and that's not going to fit either, so I'm just going to kind of lean it up against here. So there you go. That's how you organize a small bin when you have a ton of stuff. Now, you just got to compromise and everything when you are organizing and everything, and you got to actually be in the mood to do it, number one. That's the most important thing, because if you're not in the mood, you're just going to end up throwing everything back in the drawer and it's just going to look the same and that's not organization. So I think this looks amazing now because I um, put everything together and I had little small things like these and everything. And since, you know, um, I have everything visual now, I love it. It makes my life so much easier and it just looks great. So um, that's how you organize a small bin or anything. And it all depends on what you're organizing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like more videos, don't forget to uh, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. And don't forget to uh, share your recreations. If you guys do reorganize something like this, I would love to see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys want um, more videos, let me know on social media as well. And um, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope you guys make this your resolution if you guys uh, need to organize. And it's since it's the new year. So I will see you guys in my next video.